हरे कृष्णा नॉर्मली इफ एन एम्प्लॉय वर्क ओवर टाइम देन दे एक्सपेक्ट टू बी पेड अलॉट एंड मोस्ट पीपल वुड नॉट वॉन्ट टू वर्क ओवर टाइम ऑन देअर ओन एंड मोस्ट पीपल ट्रेजर देअर आइडल टाइम देअर पर्सनल टाइम दे से दैट we look forward to this weekends when we can just relax so yes after a hard week or a week of hard work naturally we will want to relax but we have to understand that we are never alone we have a dangerous dark force within us our own mind and our mind never stops working the mind's work primarily is to think to desire to dream to feel and all this the mind keeps doing always and it does it especially during our idle time so we are always thinking but when we have something purposeful to do then our thoughts are more or less focused on that purposeful activity the thoughts may wander here and there but we will if we focus but if we have that purposeful thing to do say if we are driving and then we may think of many other things but our attention will come back to driving because that's what is important but if we are just sitting idly doing nothing then we may get want our mind may wander and may wander a lot so similarly our mind's wandering tendency gets far more room for acti- activity when it is actually when we are idle so when we may, we may want to relax during our idle time but our mind doesn't want to relax in fact the mind starts working overtime thinking that oh i want to do this i want to do that i want to do these 100 other things which i haven't done before and often when the mind starts working overtime it doesn't work constructively it works destructively it starts worrying about this it starts dreading about that it starts craving for this it starts comparing ourselves with that with that person and thus it makes us miserable so when the mind works overtime it actually makes us miserable and that's why certainly we need time for relaxation but even the relaxation needs to be purposeful that means that we don't have to strain ourselves during our relaxation time but we can't let ourselves completely uh, be unscheduled and arbitrary because then our mind may drive us crazy of course there are times when we are in sattva guna in the mode of goodness when we calm and clear and at that time deeper insights may come to us during unstructured phases of time but we may need some structure so that we can have the purification by which we can have these moments of clarity and insight thereby so Uh, if we are purposeful even when these moments of clarity and insight we are purposeful in the sense that we are receptive to whatever insights we are coming we are not distracted so by which we forget we don't even notice when insights come that's why krishna urges us to always have some level of discipline on our mind yato yato nischalati manas chanchalam asthiram tatastato niyam yaitad atmanyeva vasham nayed so he says in 6.26 in the bhagavad gita that wherever and whenever the mind wanders bring it back under the control of the self that is the way to purification that is the way to self mastery and that is the way to satisfaction so rather than thinking of our relaxing time as idle time we can think of uh, that as a re- relaxed purposeful time as a time to be to purposefully do the activities that will relax and rejuvenate ourselves then our mind will not work destructively over time but our mind will also become purified and help us grow in all walks of our life thank you hare krishna